Just as a reminder, there is a hidden MTGA code in every single video, and it's first come, first serve. All of these codes contains a cosmetic, a pack, or a card. So make sure to watch the videos and also like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more content. Fuck. Which do we binding the annex or the Toblerone? Well, what do you know? Maybe we just binding both of them. What do you know? Maybe we just binding? That was fucking esports. <laughs> Fuck you, aggro. And then we're gonna Yorian. Do this whole tricky trick. And then we're gonna binding that questing beast. So they can never play it again, because fuck that questing beast. Alright, so if you're not familiar with the future, okay? We have Yorian Sky Nomad, which is basically there to, um... Okay, so when you cast Yorian Sky Nomad, you can, uh essentially exile permanents off the battlefield and then at the end of your turn you can bring them all back now this can be used in many ways if a lot of things have enter the battlefield effects you know we but if you want them as your companion you have to start out with 80 cards in your starting deck right and so since i've always wanted more cards in my deck um i just play yorian and now i have an excuse and i don't look like a noob right so that's what we're running Yorian for, okay? For the most part, you can be, you can get cheeky with the Ixalan's binding if you do actually want to phase it out, and then at the end of the turn, you can choose a different target. That is actually useful sometimes. Um, Mirror Maid, you can exile the Mirror Maids, and instead of them being Ixalan's binding, you can turn them into haphazard bombardments, or vice versa, if you have no more counters on bombardment, you can... Um, Mirror made them off bombardment and throw them on Ixalan's binding. It, there are some cool things you can do with it. It's just you usually never do it. Um, usually you'll phase out fires so that you can actually cast more than just two spells a turn. But since most of our spells are most of our good spells are six seven mana, it's you're not gonna really cast more than two or three spells maximum per turn anyway. Um, so we have Fave Wishes to get stuff from sideboard. Those cards are going to be like Grab Digger's Cage, Soul Guide Lantern, Dawn of Hope as our win con, Clear the Mind as another win con, just in case. Um, Freelant Plague, this is so they can't do tokens, uh, token decks. So usually, uh, apparently it works against Mono White aggro that uses a lot of tokens, I guess. Or not Mono White, they were vampires, but they used a lot of tokens. They didn't like the plague. It's also really good against Field of the Dead decks because their zombies do nothing. Uh, cleansing Nova is just an additional board wipe. I've has a bombardment. This is how we start the initial bombardment. Um, so since it's an 80 card deck, we'll have three bombardments main deck, and then we have four Fae of Wishes. So this essentially gives us seven chances to get a bombardment. So we have a bombardment sideboard. We can play that, and then we also have uh, two... Uh, two Idelic Tutors, which enables us to search for enchantments in our main deck. So with those, we'll usually either look for a Mirror Maid. Uh, sometimes we'll look for an Ixalan's Binding if we need to. A lot of times we'll also search for a Fires. Um, you can also look for a Whirlwind of Thought. It just kind of depends on the situation. It's surprisingly versatile. Um, Birth Miletus, uh, it's really just good to get a Plains right off the bat. It's really our only good turn to play outside of Search for his Kanta. Um, you get a planes, then you get a wall. It's good against aggro, and then you get two life. Uh, search for Iskanta. At the beginning of your turn, or at the beginning of your upkeep, you look at the top card of your library. If you like it, you can keep it there. If you don't, you can put it in the graveyard. Once it gets to seven cards in your graveyard, it turns into a land. You can tap it just to add blue, or you can pay three and tap it to look at the top four cards of your library. You can reveal a non-creature, non-land card from it and put it into your hand. Now this is amazing when Fires is out because you don't have to use your mana for anything. So essentially you get Dawn of Hope tokens for freezies and you also get Search for Kanta procs for freezies. Um, so you can continuously use Search for Kanta, Search for Kanta 
to find your bombardments, your star of extinctions, which is mainly what you're going to be using late game when you can use search for Iskanta freely. Um, so it's it's obscene. Once you get that ball rolling, usually people have already surrendered by there or they're about to surrender. Um, Deafening Clarion is just there for early aggro. Uh, same with Shadow of the Sky there for good aggro. Storm's Wrath, good for Planeswalkers as well as aggro. Uh, but this is pretty much our AoE planar cleansing of big lots of Planeswalker removal. It's so that and Starve Extinction. Starve Extinction does kill Planeswalkers as well, but it is very expensive. So when we need to get rid of like four mana or three mana Tefries, five mana Tefries as soon as possible, um, usually Storm's Wrath is going to be the best way to do it. Um, and use their counters early on so we can stick our bombardments or have a higher chance to stick our starve extinctions and bombardments. So, yeah, and then we just have a bunch of different lands. It's a really sweet deck, though. I highly recommend it. If you have a bunch of lonely, homeless wild cards, give them a home. Give them a home. There's unused wild cards just out there waiting to be turned into land destruction decks. You, you can't just let them be sad. You can't. Look at, look at mine. They're just lonely. They're waiting. They want it. I just don't have anything left. So do it for me. Help me help you help them. I don't have any videos of this up on YouTube for some reason. Alright, we keep them. What up, Spec Dev? How's it going, Mike? Alright, you guys ready for the future? The best historic deck ever. This is the one we donated to Jeff Hoogland. He made a uh, best of three version of the deck and like added Tefri and all this other bullshit. We don't play that version. Although apparently some people have run into that version. We could actually make those changes, but just like me. Me. Um, not sure what we tutor for yet. Non-creature, non-land. So they take Bombardment, or they take Tutor? They could take Tutor. Uh, if they don't take Tutor, we're just going to get an Ixalan's Binding out of this. Okay. It's the only one that made sense. AZ Core, Shaw. All right, come on. I need a Clarion or a Shatter or a Storm's Wrath. Just a couple things. Uh, so this will hopefully get us another blue source, maybe. Not taking too much Demuge, but this is going to smooth out our draws a bit. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, I believe we have a Fires in the sideboard. We do not have a Fires in the sideboard. Just get a Cleansing Nova, I guess. So we can cast Cleansing. I don't know why I thought we had a Fires in sideboard. We have all of them in main board. I don't know why. It seems like a stupid move. I 
hasn't done anything, so I'm assuming he has removal for this. Which again is pretty much fine. We have everything we need in sideboard. Like we have we have clear the mind. Like we have everything. We don't we don't super care. And we'll gladly block any of this incoming damage. Garuk. Okay. That's not good. Alright, one more land. We did it. Hit the land. I'm going back to the We hit the land. Okay, so we're going to haphazard bombardment and then tutor for a mirror maid. Oh, I did not calculate that properly. I didn't, I didn't math that. I did not math that. It's all right, we won. You guys were on your punt game earlier. Now I gotta be the punter. That's fine, easy. Easy win. The future is now. The future is now. All right. Hmm. We have Dawn of Hope, which is not bad. Hmm. I have a couple Clarions. Uh, it's rough. Well, Clarions do nothing for us. Yeah, going second we lose. With two Clarions? Yeah, we can't do anything against Pride Mates. Only thing we can do is prevent this from doing more damage. Uh, we can fires into a Fae of Wishes. And then get... Yeah, this fucking hurts. Okay. We may be able to live. Okay. Cleansing Nova. Right? Cleansing Nova into a Yorian? We can make a Dawn of Hope token. Yeah, Vanguard is mostly irrelevant because we have Dawn of Hope. Although I didn't actually make a Dawn of Hope token. Someone gonna punt that? Someone gonna punt that? We'll take it. And then we'll draw a card. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you, Commodore. What's up, Dope Lunchable? We just casualties here? Or do we Heliods? Or do we Ruinous Ultimatum? We have a lot of choices right here. We have like a lot of choices. We can Inspired Ultimatum. I think Ruinous is fine. I think Ruinous is fine. Uh, so is Kanta flips next turn, which is also beautiful. Uh, we get another token here. The future is now. I'm telling you. Telling you. This is one of the best land destruction decks in Historic right now. Top three for sure. Top three. There's this one, there's the Eerie Ultimatum one, and then there's the Colorless Land Destruction one. The Eerie Ultimatum one is probably the best, then maybe this one, maybe. I think I kind of like the 60 card deck version of this better. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Ball Lightning. I remember this person. Think they're playing Mono Red Chat? Think they're playing Mono Red? Alright. Getting another land. This guarantees our fires on turn four. Uh, we get a Clarion. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that on turn three yet or not. They're Gruel, maybe? Okay, I'm definitely doing this on turn three. I can't let that shit go unchecked. Cool. So now we have a blocker. Which is beautiful. Got it. Uh, we're going to fires into a tutor, and with this tutor, we are going to get a Ixalan's binding. Yep, and then we're going to binding that annex, or binding. Fuck. Which do we binding the annex or the Toblerone? What do you know? Maybe we're just binding both of them. What do you know? Maybe we're just binding? That was fucking eSports. eSports wig time. eSports wig. Top deck of the century? Ah. The future is now, chat. We're three and oh. I told you. If you like land destruction, you like pissing people off, but you don't want to do it yourself because you feel bad for people being pissed off at you, just channel all your hate for other magic players through me. Or if you just want to openly hate magic players, just hate me. That works too. Uh, I don't think we can do that. Uh,
think we put back the Shatter or the Storm's Wrath. Shatter works better. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, if you haven't already, just hit that follow button. I mean, come on. Six days a week? It's perfect. It's the perfect amount of rage. Mm. All right. Uh, do we have cage and sideboard? Good, good. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and get a blocker. Maybe, I actually don't know. I think that was the wrong idea. I think that was the wrong play. Because I'm going to shadow this guy next turn anyway? Fuck. Yeah, that was the wrong play. That was a punt! Hmm. Unless I just... Do I Ixalan's Binding that Priest? I could Ixalan's Binding the Priest. Still mana efficient for the two life gain, is it? Now do I Shatter here? Or do I... There's a couple things. I think the priest will be more of an issue later on. Well, they can only have one Luris in the deck, and I have a board wipe. Yeah, unless they can kill my wall, then Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't really do too much, because they can claim. If they claim a wall, that's like whatever. Nice. Okay, they bedevil. Uh, now they're gonna do an extra three damage. Unfortunate. Okay, so we go down to nine. This is very bad. Call of the Death Dweller or whatever gets annoying. Um, technically we can fave wishes into a cage. But I would... Do we fave wishes into a cage? I think we have to fave wishes into a cage, but we may just die. That might be our only option. They still have a fuck ton of stuff in their hand. I mean, they could have another Bedevil if they have another Bedevil. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck. That game doesn't count. That game doesn't count. All right, no more esports wig. We didn't, we didn't top deck enough that game. We did not top deck enough that game. We had a mulligan and everything. That was pretty rough. Okay, this should be okay. Opponent goes first. Oh, look at the opponent's name. It's just dashes. Need more esports? I know, right? Or hitting land drops, which is beautiful. But opponents on that rampy shit. Oh fuck me. Um okay. So I have to Ixlon's binding that. Ooh, I could have Clary on that. Should I have Clary on that chat? Did I just lose? Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I need a binding that Teferi. Yeah, I need a binding that Teferi. Oh, 
I want to find that diligent excavator though. Does the wall? That seems interesting. Well, actually, so we can do this. Um, next turn, we can binding. Thinks you're playing agent deck. I know, right? I mean, it makes sense. I think I'm playing an agent deck, too. I'm not. Uh, did we just lose? Oh, we just lost. Yeah, we just had the combo, right? Uh, I should just fucking killed it. Ugh. Yeah, I think he needs another mox. I just assumed he had another one. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. Huh? Bounced his own mox. He's definitely done this combo before. So he can just keep doing this. He can keep bouncing it back. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with bird mana cost three or less from the grid. That's actually really cool. Wait, so do I have to get Kethis? I don't even fucking know anymore. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh, he got the other mocks. GG. Yeah, I just, I think I let that, I let that live too long. It was stupid. I got greedy. I, I don't even know if I got greedy. I think it was just stupid. It was one of the two. Probably stupidity. Hmm. Can feed our graveyard with that Ascanta. We'll keep two of them. Why not? Which to binding that turn? Well, I would have just... I could have Clarion turn three instead of even doing search for his Kanta at all. Just to kill it. I don't know if I needed to binding. But I probably would have just bound the Teferi so we couldn't bounce anything. Although... Wait, that one spell says return a legendary. It doesn't say cast it. You may cast it for nothing. It just says return it. Let's go ahead and find a fire, shall we? Ugh. Okay, so Storm's Wrath does nothing. Um, still need lands. Uh, we're going to do this anyway, uh, just because I don't want him to have additional mana. Even though it's only one additional mana, it's still one additional mana.
Mm -hmm. Gets to proc twice. Okay, that's bad. This is gonna be rough. Do not have the mana for Star of Extinction yet. It's a lot of fucking mana. So we're just gonna get Agent to do. throw this out as a blocker um i'm not sure if i i'm pretty sure i just cycle that tome oof this is not good not good at all Yeah, we need a shatter. Elementals, right? Oh, just creature. Just kidding. Uh, let's see what we get. That works. Two, three, four, five. So we'll get six mana. Um, it's a sweet top deck, but. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so we need one land. This flips at seven. Okay, so I mean, for the most part, we can literally just bin whatever we get on top. Stills our fires? Okay. Ugh. All right. So he definitely has elementals in his hand because he's scrying first to bottom. Okay, that's good. You like to see that. Uro for freezies. Don't really like to see that. Um, uh, four. Uh. -oh. Okay, so we're gonna kill that blast zone for sure. Uh, it's just very unfortunate. I hope he just gets greedy and throws out that Uro. Throw out the Uro. Come on, throw it out. Throw it out. <gasps> Is he doing it? Yes. Ooh, all right. All right. That's great for you, but you know. Okay, so we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to blow up that field of the dead.
Fuck, I want that too, though. Alright, whatever. Whatever. We only get one more land out of that one, and then we can play the other bombardment. Okay, we got a scry land that's pretty good. Um, yeah. They did not want any of that land destruction, apparently. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good to be ramp decks with land destruction. Feels real good. I felt that it was an interesting choice for them to take fires because they can only cast two spells a turn. I want to think that they want to cast more than two spells a turn. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure they want to do more than that. Pretty sure I'm right on that one, though. Okay, so we have turn two as Kanta, turn three Deafening Clarion. They go first, which is scary. Um, we would need another red source in order to Storm's Wrath. Um, I think overall it's still a pretty strong hand. Uh, is a Luris deck. Get a Whirlwind of Thought off the top. Uh, search for his Kanta will help us find shit, but... Uh, maybe Birth would have been better there. Uh, Birth might have been better there. Yeah, because he's going to sack his Priest. Woo! Maybe. Yeah. <sighs> that is two manas. Oh my god. That is so crazy. Holy shit, and you can almost cast it. Um... Graveyard. Okay, well, that's pretty good. This is a lot of value. Um, they still get to play a Croza next turn. Which is terrifying. I don't know why he's playing the priest. Well, yeah. I actually think I'm going to tutor into an Ixalan's binding. Just kidding. Fuck you, aggro. Feels good, man. Feels good. Easy clap. What's going on, Deadlock? I don't know if I said what's up earlier. But how you doing? Ooh. All right, chat. I need to see in chat. One to keep, two to mulligan. One to keep, two to mulligan. We have Fave wishes for a blocker, maybe. 
All right, that's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones. Oh, two twos. It's four to two. All right. Five, four, three. All right. Strider keep. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, that's pretty bad. We we could get another fires. Oh, that's not good either. All right. Hey, I mean, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. We can smooth out our draws a little bit, maybe. All right, we're going to take we're going to take a little extra demuge here. I mean, we, we get the, this is all intentional, right? He, we're going to force him to discard a card because fuck him. Oh, beautiful. All right, easy. Now we just see a land, right? Just draw land. I almost didn't play fires first. I almost didn't play fires first, chat. That was, whew, that was close. We got Big Mama Galta. Hell yeah. Oh no. All right. So we're going to tutor for an Ixlon's binding. And then we're going to Yorian. Do this whole tricky trick. And then we're gonna binding that questing beast. So they can never play it again, because fuck that questing beast. And one more land, and we can start the bombardment. Oh! They killed the creature and not the binding! They killed the creature. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Vine Mare? All right. We can't even binding that anyway. We can, however, target it with Bombardment. Of course we can Bombardment it. Of course we can. We are going to bombard it haphazardly, in fact. Okay. All right, come on, Iskanta. Don't you dare have a thingamajig that blows that up. What's the... Bronzodon? Thrashing Bronzodon? You assass in your trophy. Every fight makes me oh, no. Oh, no. And then they get back the questing beast. And then they get back the questing beast. Don't see it. They don't see the line. This oh, they blow up bombardment. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. All right, start extinction. Not us not even close. That be blocked? Yeah. All right. So we, let's just make tokens, delay it out, delay of game. When it has reading issues. Well, they did read it. They just didn't read it the first time. Vault 103, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Sodium City. Wait, does it give it trample? 
They fucking get trample. This will be fun to watch. Well, we we saved two Demuge. All right, Star of Extinction. Come on, Star of Extinction. Come on. Does this always have trample? No. Okay. Just in case. Ah, time to disappear into the brush. They can't blow up shit. They can't blow up shit. Let's go Mirror Maid. Got it. So we stay at four. Risky business? Wouldn't have it any other way. Um... Clarion is the only option here because then that Lovestruck Beast cannot attack. And now we can make a token and draw a card. Well. Really? Wait, we could have shattered? Why could we have shattered? Did we have Shatter in there? Did we have Shatter in there? Oh my god. You know what? Doesn't matter, okay? We were doing this. We wanted to do this. Alright, this is what we wanted to do. That's what we wanted to do. I can't believe I didn't even see Shatter. I How did I not even see that? I thought it was like some other white card. Fires Pog. <laughs> it was BM, honestly. Exactly. It was exact BM. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this deck is the future. It's the future. I don't know why this deck works. I honestly have no idea why this deck works. It's really fucking funny, though. Hello, opponent. No. Okay, I didn't really want another one of those. Okay, so what do I get here? Okay, I need... Alright, so I tutor for an Ixlon's Binding. Obviously. Um, I actually don't need another one, because I have a Mirror made if I need to get another one super badly. Binding. I guess I could have kept that one to find a fires. Maybe I should have kept that other one. So yeah, we have to binding that Adanto Vanguard. Ninjutsu Sauce? Look at opponent's name, it's awesome. Mortify? Oh my god. All right, top deck. All right, this hurts like a bitch. All right, now we have a couple options. We can... No, Fate Wishes doesn't do anything for us.
well. We're gonna need a shatter. That's what shadow looks like, right, chat? Is that, is that esports? Esports. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and play this, feed our graveyard a little bit, and also draw a card from Whirlwind of Thought. Yeah, we fought, we esports the shit out of that. And again, we can still Mirror Maid the Ixalan's Binding if we need to. Um, we kind of need to find our Dawn of Hope. Okay, we're probably... Let's see. I d uh, let me put a Vampire Creature card in your hand in the battlefield. Uh, Soren kills us? So we have to mirror made that Ixalan's binding. Okay. Yeah. My heart is too hollow. Uh, fuck, do I wanna take how much is this? Three? Okay, so they can't do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, this helps. So the plague makes it so they can't get any tokens. All their tokens die immediately. So it's one damage or two damage? One damage. All right. Ugh. Just draw what you need, chat. Just draw what you need. Oh, we don't have another. We don't have a black source. Um, kind of need a black source. Yeah. Uh, we need we need fires for that to work. Yeah, we need fires for that to work. You know, I knew we were going to top deck fires. So... Yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm fucking esports. I'm, I'm in esports. I got the esports wig. Come on. Everyone knew I was going to top deck that. Everyone knew I was going to top deck that. I think I just plague here. Because this stays alive, but my wall also stays alive. This doesn't have flying, and his Sorens are both fucked. I mean, my Dawn of Hope does literally nothing now, but... And comes the Onslaught! And comes the Onslaught. Yeah. Yeah. The Onslaught. I mean, I was going to Whirlwind of Thought into a Star of Extinction. And yeah, there was nothing.
the opponent was just gone. There's now it's gonna fave wishes for a haphazard bombardment. Dude. Alright. Yeah. I mean uh okay, so somebody said it earlier. Somebody said it earlier. Who who was it? Let me let me scroll up. So somebody said that they were like historic deck called the future and then lulled at it. Oh yeah, it was dre yeah, it was deck. It was deck rocks. Deck rocks. <laughs> like historic deck called the future. Lol. LMAO. So we do one constructed event with the future, and it goes seven and two. <laughs> How does it make you feel? <laughs> does it make you a believer? <laughs> do you believe in the future? <laughs> I do. I believe in the future. Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.